Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone, to the Break Vape Podcast, episode 13. I am your host, Tammy Ernst. If you are listening in real time, we are in the middle of January now, and I hope that your 2023 new year is off to a great start. How is everyone doing? I hope that you guys are all safe and well. Yesterday was pretty dicey here in Houston. We had a tornado emergency that left quite a bit of wreckage and flash flooding, and thankfully, no injuries or deaths were reported. I want to tell you guys this quick story before we move on to to today's topic, because I found myself in a pretty stressful situation. And as you might know, for most of us who have quit vaping or are trying to quit vaping, managing stress in a healthy way is crucial especially if you are just beginning your quitting journey and are still experiencing urges. So yesterday I was heading home after an appointment and the streets to my house were flooded to the point that roads were being closed off. And all in all, I saw six cars in ditches all within a mile of my house. These poor people, my heart just goes out to them. The trucks and the SUVs, they were seem, seeming to um, be doing okay, but the cars, they were just, they were not making it. The water swept them off the road, and they were winding up in the ditches. I was able to weave through some neighborhoods and go pick up my kiddo early from school. She was pretty scared because all the kids had to go into the halls of the school where there aren't any windows as part of the procedure that they do for something like a tornado you guys, it, it was a mess. It was a high stress situation that would have been so triggering for sure if I was still addicted to vaping. So it just feels good to be on the other side of this awful addiction and be able to give myself a little pat on the back for learning how to deal with stress in a healthy way. And of course, I want to I want to teach you to be able to give yourself this pat on the back as well. My situation yesterday might pale in comparison to whatever stress you are currently facing, but I guarantee that whatever you're going through, you can handle it without vaping. Like I always say, quitting is 100% doable and you guys are 200% worthy of living a vape-free life. Okay, moving on. The title of today's episode is called Hey Hey Tooth Decay. And while this may may be a, uh, a cute name, the topic is actually pretty fascinating. Today I'm going to shed some light on how vaping can permanently damage your teeth and overall oral health. Right now there are over 82 million people who vape worldwide and about 2.5 million of these people are teenagers in the U.S., Even though everyone listening to this podcast are from all over the world and from different walks and cultures of life, we're all still humans whose oral microbiomes work on the same level and are damaged in the exact same ways by vaping. It only takes about six months after you pick up this habit of vaping for your oral health profile to change at a molecular level that would compare to someone who has smoked cigarettes for about five years. So the damage that vaping is doing to your teeth right now, it's fast and it's strong. Vaping is uniquely harmful because it creates a kind of oral bacteria that thrive on heated e-liquid ingredients such as propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, which add nicotine to the sweet flavors that vapes have. Propylene glycol, actually, it breaks down in the mouth. It breaks down into acids, which can permanently damage tooth enamel and dentine by dissolving them away. And the oral bacteria love sugar and they thrive on these heated e-liquid ingredients like propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. Every time someone puffs on a vape, the e-liquid, it's heated and breathed in as an aerosol and it coats your teeth in a sugary, sticky film that is a breeding ground for bacteria. And as most of us know, when you're addicted to vaping, you'll usually keep a vape within reach during the night and continue to vape well after you've brushed your teeth for the evening. So even though you may have brushed your teeth before bed, every time you puff on a vape, you're basically doing the equivalent of sucking on a lollipop 
from which bacteria can feed off for at least 10 hours. Vaping can cause a huge host of issues for your mouth, including bone loss, tooth loss, dry mouth, bad breath, tooth decay, cell death, gum disease, receding gum lines, and overall irritation, plus nicotine stains your teeth yellow. And each of these things I could go into, and then this would be like a two hour long episode, but that's pretty much the quick breakdown of scratching the surface of how bad vaping is for your mouth, your teeth, and your gums. And remember that your overall health is at risk too because vapes contain formaldehyde, which is the chemical used to preserve dead bodies, gross, arsenic, a common rat poison, gross, and lead, a chemical linked to stroke and heart attack. No wonder Big Tobacco names their flavors fun names like Rainbow Candy because names like Rat Poison and Dead Man's Skin Treatment just don't have the same appeal. I credit these last two sentences to a dental blog that I read because it was just too good to leave out. This blog is by Monroe Falls Family Dentistry, and I'll leave the link to it in the show notes also if you want to check it out. I hope by now you are thinking, no way, tooth decay. And next time you question your decision to continue vaping, please play this episode and go back and listen to the rest of the podcast and really lean into your instinct to quit for good. And if you need a little help, I would love to tell you what coaching is all about. Just send an email to hello at breakvapes.com. That's hello at breakvapes with an S.com, and you will find out exactly how to quit vaping for good. Cheers to your health, my friends. See you next week.